right, so today I'm going to take a look at Doritos Tangy Ketchup. I got the old 1950s ketchup bottle, or I don't know, I don't know, it's, just, it's an old style ketchup bottle. Um, but yeah, another level of tangy, sweet tangy crunch. So, Doritos are naturally bad for you. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they ain't the healthiest thing, so you can find a lot better. But, hey, when, when Tony makes a certain food that, you know, attracts people in, you know, let's see what it tastes like. They also did a mustard one. I have not found the mustard one in a small bag. If somebody can point me to a small bag of the hot mustard one, I will try it. But for now, all I can do is tangy ketchup. Now, I know that these usually, usually when Lay's, this is made by Frito-Lay. It literally says Frito-Lay right there. But usually when Frito-Lay does these things, whatever they do, because they've done ketchup before, I think on Lay's potato chips. They've done tomato and basil on, you know, Lay's potato chips. Anytime they do something like this, it always just tastes like tomato. It doesn't taste like, like, it doesn't taste actually like, you know, tomato and basil, no basil, I can only taste the tomato. Ketchup on the Lay's, I can only taste just tomato. No ketchup, just tomato. And that's like skipping a step. This, we'll see what it does. So, what was your ear? All right, that was less painful than the one I thought it was. Now they deck it out, it kind of looks like the hot one. It kind of looks like the really spicy Russian roulette one. Or, not Russian roulette, but you know what I mean. The, the roulette one, where it's got like the really spicy, you spin the dial, you might get a really spicy chip, or you might get a non-spicy chip. But either way, you're gonna get a spicy chip. Um, but, um, so let's see. It looks like a lot like the roulette ones, but, Oh, I can tell the smell. It does smell like type of ketchup. It smells like ketchup. It has definitely has some mayo smell, but let's do a taste. Okay, good job. It's a bit closer to ketchup than I thought it was going to be. And the more I taste it though, it tastes like a, actually, a second thought, it tastes more like a salsa. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going to give that, because I'm going to give a score as how, like how, you know, how it tastes. It actually doesn't taste that bad. I could eat the onions, it's not that bad. Uh, I'm giving it an 8, since I could actually snack on this. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I got a thought that ketchup on a potato chip wasn't going to taste that good, because I'm not a guy to put, you know, ketchup on potato chips. But this is actually working out for me. I think it's because it's powder edition, not really the... Like, the taste, it's got the taste of it, but not the texture of ketchup. It's not, you know, gooey and weird. That goes with fries a lot better. Um, but yeah. But yeah, um, <laughs> one second. Okay, so I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. How close it is to ketchup, it actually tastes more like a salsa. So it's like powdered salsa on a potato chip. The Dorito part of it not, is not even, you know, making a difference. It's literally just, it could have been on any type of chip. The Dorito is just a, form that it's on. So it could have been on a Frito, it could have been on a, um, it could have been on a Lay's potato chip, it could have been on anything. I don't think the form is actually, you know, really making the taste. The taste is actually the powder stuff that's on the chip. And right now it's giving me that vibe of salsa in a powder form put on a corn chip or potato chip. And I mean, kind of, yeah, that's kind of what, I'm not going to say salsa and you know, ketchup are the same. They're definitely not. But it's edging me more towards a salsa because it tastes like it has more spices or more, 
more of a kick to it than my normal, than the ketchup I eat. Now, I usually eat Heinz, but maybe this is another ketchup they're going for. I don't know. Either way, powdered salsa. How close to ketchup is it? Maybe a 5 out of 10, kind of close, but that's not the actual score I'm giving it. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, and I would buy it again because it's actually not as bad as I thought, but it wouldn't be something I would eat all the time. So, go out there and pick it up yourself. This actually took me a couple minutes to process. It's not bad. All right, see you guys next time. I got another review coming up, and go out there and get some tangy ketchup. See what you think for yourself. Maybe it tastes closer to ketchup than I thought, but bye.